Indeed it is. And I'll tell you what, in the mid-90s, there was only one linebacker you wanted anchoring your defense. He won the Nagurski Award twice. He was won the Benaric Award twice. He was the Big Ten's Defensive Player of the Year. He was the leader of a defense that rolled over the competition and won the Big Ten Championship and took Northwestern to the Rose Bowl for the first time in decades and decades. He is now the longtime head coach of my favorite football team, the Northwestern Wildcats. And he is my favorite coach of all time. Pat Fitzgerald joins us here on Get Up. Good morning, Coach. How are you feeling this morning with the big game tonight? Okay. Hey, Greeny, I'm doing great, my friend, and uh, excited to be on with you. I know you're just shy of a little bit of passion this morning and, and not fired up <laughs> at all, my friend. Now, listen, I mean, I, I have to almost recuse myself from the conversation when I'm talking to you, but let's get into it a little bit significantly here. What is the significance of opening with a conference game tonight? Again, Northwestern and Purdue, you just heard Reese Davis sort of setting it up really well. Both had really good years last year. How different is it starting with a conference opponent tonight as the two of you do? Yeah, it's a huge challenge. You know, not only playing an outstanding football team incredibly well coached Jeff and his staff do a great job and very talented we got to do it on the road so huge challenge for our guys they've worked incredibly hard here over the last month getting ready and you know hopefully we show up ready to compete tonight you heard Reese Davis talking a little bit about some of that wide open offense that Purdue runs and some of the trick plays as your defensive man yourself give me a quick scouting report on the offense that America will see on ESPN tonight and that you're going against well, they're multiple. You know, they're, they're going to have a two-quarterback system. There's no question about that. And, and uh, you know, probably three backs are excited about their young receiver, real physical up front, two dynamic, three dynamic, really, tight ends, and great skill on the perimeter. And, and Jeff does a great job mixing not only uh, the, their, their RPO game and, and uh, you know, what they're trying to get done on, on a game or day play-by-play -play basis, but, you know, a, a lot of uh, nuances and, and, and gadgetry that, you know, quite frankly, are a challenge to get prepared for. And, uh, you know, you hope you just execute and have great eyes. And when those opportunities happen, there's an opportunity for us to make a play, too, and hopefully we do. On the other side, uh, Northwestern's offense led by Clayton Thorson, who suffered the knee injury in the bowl game. And we are waiting, all of us waiting with bated breath, to see if he will start tonight. And I know you've been keeping that very close to the vest. What can you tell us at this time about the status of Clayton Thorson as the quarterback tonight? Well, I figured, you know, coming on your show this morning, why don't I announce it to the entire country? What do you think? I would love that. Yes, thank you. Please do. I, I love you, but not that much, so sorry. Uh, not going to happen. Oh! But, uh, oh! <laughs> hey, just put it out there for you. Take it right back. But, uh, you know, he's worked so so hard, Greeny, in his rehab. You know, we have multiple guys that go through off-season surgeries, but the way that Clayton's worked has been an inspiration. He's just done everything in his power, and, We'll see tonight at 8.06, uh, you know, how things play out. You know, there are a lot of us, and, and, and Northwestern is so well, well represented in the media that we get our chance to say it, that we'll point out all the numbers that Reese pointed out there. The team finished last year on an eight-game winning streak. They won a bowl game against an SEC team. They're bringing back, depending on the way you count it, between 15 and 17 starters from last year. They finished last year ranked number 17, and this year not ranked in the preseason AP poll. That, that is a bit of disrespect. How have you utilized that with your team going into the season? Well, the talking season ends tonight for us, you know, when the ball goes up in the air and, and then obviously throughout the course of the weekend for every college football team. And you can't control things externally and, and preseason rankings. I think, Greeny, if you and I were to do a historical uh, analysis here, I think you and I could probably pick the top 20 every year without even having to look at the team. So we'd prefer to go out and earn it anyways. You know, we earned that ranking last year at the end of the year. We felt disappointed that we didn't achieve our goals. And that's what our guys have been working diligently on all offseason. And now this is a new team. And the thing that sticks out to me the most is the brotherhood. You know, this is as close of a team as I've had the privilege to coach. And uh, we're going to need it tonight. We're going to face, a, 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 like I said, an outstanding football team, hostile environment on the road, and in a, in a, in a conference opener. Uh, it's going to be a huge challenge, and we're going to have to rely upon that brotherhood to, to fight through the adversity that we're going to face. <coughs> How about one quicker big picture question? I, I have this fight with Paul Feinbaum here. It is my opinion that right now the Big Ten is the best conference in college football. I, I don't even think it's an opinion. I think it's almost a statement of fact. If you look at the data, you know where he's going to be arguing on behalf of the SEC. Give us your thumbnail on the conference, on the Big Ten conference as the season begins. You know, if I, if I really think about what we should go, go do, it should be a cage match between you and Feinbaum. I think, <laughs> I think that's what the fans want, you know, and, and, and conference, conference take all. You know, it's, it, uh, it could be pay-per-view. It would be sweet. 
But uh, that's the best thing about college football. We, we all have our alma maters. We all have our conference allegiances. And, uh, you know, I think there's just nothing better than college football from a passion standpoint. And the best thing is the talking season ends here this weekend. And let's go play. You know, proud of our conference a year ago, the way that we performed in bowl games. You know, obviously disappointed that our conference champion didn't uh, represent uh, our league in, in, in the uh, playoff. But uh, that's all over. That's all in the rearview mirror. And now it's time to move forward. And everybody's feeling good about themselves, fired up to go try to achieve their goals. And uh, it's the start of college football. It, there's no more exciting time. It's like Christmas Day. Let's go. And, and just as a final thought, Fitz, here, all kidding aside, is there a worse fight you could ever possibly imagine than Fine Bob and me? I mean, is, is there a worse <laughs> fight that America could possibly watch than that? You know, I really think if you go to Twitter here, I may have just started a, a, a firestorm, buddy. Uh, you'd be shocked at how many fans would be stoked up about a cage match with you and Feinbaum. I will I say this. I'll, pr I'll promote it. It's no big deal. Let's go. All uh, right. Yeah, he was here yesterday. He may be the only person I know who is markedly thinner than I am. Coach, good luck tonight again. Everyone will get a chance to see it tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern on ESPN Northwestern at Purdue, kicking off with a very important game in the Big Ten. You know where, where my loyalty lies. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Greeny. Go Cats. Appreciate Go you. Go Cats is exactly right.